you guys and welcome to my channel so in this video i'm basically just talking about my second trimester the ups and the downs and what i had to expect and basically basically everything just that just happened so now i am in my second trimester and things sure as hell have not been easy trust me um oh in case you notice i've had to lock my natural hair i think for those that know i had afro hair and let's just say it was a mission just keeping it together so i started looking more like a hobo than an actual girl so i decided um we decided that i should go and get my hair locked uh, into dreadlocks and then I can decide after so I use the gel uh, thingy the gel twists so just in case I decide to go back to my afro then I can actually do that they don't lock instantly because they were not uh, crocheted or whatever they call it so yeah here I just did um, what do you call it uh, a hello braid and then I just like put it up there just so I can try and look a bit normal and I don't really have any makeup but I just thought maybe I should just put on some lipstick uh clothes just so I can look like a girl okay because lately <sighs> lately I have not been looking very much like a girl but anyway so second trimester drama If you guys okay you obviously didn't know this but um, I had uh, I went into preterm labor at 28 weeks no what am I talking about I went into preterm labor at 25 weeks uh, so basically what happened was I suddenly got so sick I didn't know what was wrong we went to the hospital and it was in the middle of the night i think like it was around 12 midnight and then we got to the hospital and they checked me in like we went to the one side of the hospital where i was because i was moved hospitals according to the case like three times now i'm at the third and final hospital so i was still at the second hospital and when i got there in the middle of the night like i'm in pain and they looked the nurse looked at me and looked at philly and went she's in labor you need to rush her over to the third hospital this is south africa guys so don't be out here asking why didn't the ambulance take her and all that stuff here you go yourself you will take yourself to the labor ward so we went off from Twani to Steve Biko, but luckily they have a tunnel that like goes from one hospital to the other. So we went from Twani to Steve Biko, and then I got to Steve Biko. I got checked in, and they were like, "Okay, she's in preterm labor." And there was the doctors, all the doctors were in theater, and the nurse was panicking because I was curry, like I was screaming, guys. I was in so much pain, and I felt like this baby was coming. So the nurse was panicking, and it was the most nicest, the most humble nurse I've ever met. But she was really, really super nice. And she tried to calm me down as much as she possibly can. And she was trying to talk to me about you know the survival rate like okay listen don't stress too much if this baby comes we save babies smaller than yours and all of that stuff so this baby stands a chance at you know life and all of that stuff and then she gave me pain medication which didn't really help instantly but kind of helped ease the pain a bit um it was all very it was all just happening to me and I was losing focus I didn't really want to pay attention to what was happening around me all my attention was here all my attention was Lord let this child leave like for this child I prayed for you cannot take this from me you understand it was that I have 
fear i had faith i had all mixed emotions just like everything was just happening and um then the doctors came i think to an hour two later oh yeah they did put me on a ct scan before the they put me on a ct scan before the doctors arrived and there was there was heartbeat so everything was good um and then the doctor came checked me i uh, did a scan and then he was like you have really bad contractions but the baby is okay and the baby is small because you're small and it was just all of that so they they gave me steroids uh just in case the baby came and decided to really 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 come out like the medicine because they gave me other med medication to stop labor from going through but they were like okay we're gonna give you steroids just in case it the baby comes out then the baby stands a better chance because the lungs and everything have not fully developed and all of that stuff so it's really a scary feeling and then after that um i was discharged i was discharged four days later so yeah i was discharged like four days later and i was better and i went about my life but i think since that day it has always been like i've always really been scared of what's gonna happen with the baby what's gonna happen with the pregnancy is everything gonna be is everything excuse me gonna be okay until the end and now i'm panicking also because i've been moved the fecal hospital so like my case might must be one of the bad ones of like it's a very very risky pregnancy and all of this so, so a lot of things went through my mind but i had a lot of faith so i decided to just stay on that like stay on that lane focus on that how much faith i had and all the stuff and the support i had um so that was the drama in my second trimester and the sickness i kid you not all the morning sickness i have in the second trimester the gods must be crazy oh, if i say it was okay I would be downplaying it. Like, okay, is an understatement. I would cry every day. My emotions are just all over the place. My hormones are driving me nuts. And I would get, I get angry over such small things. And poor Vilikim, he doesn't even understand what's going on. He doesn't understand the whole concept of hormones and whatever. And now he's just like in the deep sea with it. He's like Little Nemo and I'm that shark. And every day I'm at him, like I'm on him every day. But he's been a real chap about it. Um, it's, 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 yo, my hormones, you guys. It's not been funny. Um, I've been really sick. I have migraines. I'm throwing up. I'm very emotional. I cry every day, sometimes for no reason. And it's just how it is. And sometimes you'd be like, why are you crying? What's wrong? What did I do? I can't say anything because he didn't do anything. And I don't know why I'm crying, but I'm just crying. So it's it's kind of embarrassing the more I think about it now. And oh yeah, my feet was my feet are swelling in the second trimester. They didn't swell in the first trimester, so I'm kind of having swollen feet lately. But I move around. I tend to move around, and then I get swollen feet. Or if I'm sitting down, I get swollen feet. Um, like now I'm probably gonna have some but like yeah I will elevate my legs 
just as soon as I finish with this video so I should be fine uh, so basically the second trimester doesn't have a lot I can't go into my favorite foods because I don't have any in this second trimester this baby is obviously small because it's surviving on toast dry toast most of the time and water and orange juice and um, every now and then I try to force myself to have all brain flakes but that doesn't always end very well because I end up it ends up like coming back out almost every food that I eat ends up coming back out so I'm trying not to force a lot of food that I know is gonna come back out because it really hurts when you like throw up so I just try and stick to what I can eat oh the other thing I actually eat is endomine noodles endomine noodles I'm not sure if you know them but they are from West Africa and they've got just a little bit of chili um, well they have a lot of chili but I just put a little bit from that sachet so that's basically some of the things that I've been managing to eat and I'm drinking a lot of milk so a lot of water a lot of milk that reminds me yeah I haven't been drinking my water since I started this video and I'm trying my best to drink water every 10 minutes of my day except for at night because then otherwise you can't sleep with pee so yeah that's pretty much it my second trimester doesn't have a lot because I'm always constantly sick constantly sick like there's a lot that i can't do because of uh being sick all the time so yeah <sighs> that's about it so my second trimester wasn't isn't really that much of a big deal because it's a whole mess and uh yeah my belly has grown but apparently it's not as big as it should be so it's this this dress just makes everything look big and plumpy and my boots have grown a bit my boots have grown a bit but yeah the belly is it has grown very much like i'm getting used to it being here uh you know it's kind of weird knowing that you are this very small person small body no belly and all of a sudden boom you got that and it's unbelievable because you you always have to remind yourself like oh yeah i'm pregnant like whenever we go out and there's an activity to do and i forget i'm pregnant and then i have to be reminded that i'm pregnant it's never fun because now everyone gets to do fun things everyone except for me and leave me comments on how your second trimester was or if you have any questions about my second trimester and i'll surely do a video on my third trimester i'm hoping it'll be way better than this because i'm suffering right now I, I look like i'm smiling like all is well but it really isn't it hurts everywhere my stomach mostly over here the worst because of the throwing up and the heartburn but I'll be fine it'll be all be worth it in a few months so anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe this channel uh, and I'll see you soon bye